Okay, this video is mostly for Jonas, but anybody else uh, with a valuable input, you're more than welcome. Just uh, talking about the lighting up here. So, it's just these six porcelain sockets with 100 watt equivalent CFLs. Um, when I moved in here, it was just 60 watt regular bulbs in them. This light over the stairs. Same thing. For the longest, I had one of those ring baloney fluorescent bulbs here. I don't know why I did that. I guess just because I had the bulb and wanted to use it. Uh, when I was replacing a few bulbs that had gone bad, I replaced this one because I figured this is more light. Okay. I added this fixture here. It's uh, one of those commercial metal shade vintage fixtures. It's kind of hard to gauge what it looks like. It's one of these, but white, not green. Kind of. Maybe you can see it better from a distance. And then I have this light here, which I added just because this corner is dark. And that just turns on separately. You come up here and, you know, flip the switch and turn this on as well. So, I've toyed with doing something to make the lighting cooler up here, but haven't really been able to come up with anything that's worthwhile because it's either it involves spending a lot of money for not a lot of usefulness. You know. I tried just like I've got the little accent light there, I tried adding a few more accent lights. You see I've got one here. It's supposed to kind of point up at the fan so there weren't as many shadows on the fan and I was gonna do another one over there for that fan and that was just gonna be a thing. But uh doesn't really make any difference looking at the fan. Let me see if I can reach it to turn it on. It's kind of hard to reach back here. If I was going to go with it permanently, I would, uh... Yeah, it's going to take a little while for the bulb to warm up, but even when it does, there's really not a tangible difference. So... I wouldn't mind making some changes to make the space more cool. But it just can't be changes that cost very much. And at the end of the day, this is a storage space, not necessarily a workspace, so it doesn't have to be, you know, extremely well lit the way the downstairs is. It just has to be enough to see your way around. Um, I spend more time up here than most people probably would in a storage space because everything has to be sorted and organized in order to fit in the small space that it is. Well, I mean, it's a huge space, but the amount of stuff that I have, it's a small space. So, um, what I do is I bring stuff up and I put it here. This is my staging table. And then I take the stuff from here and I put it in the boxes. And um, Easier to do it in the uh, spring and fall because during the summer, it's 90, 100 degrees up here even with the fans. And in the winter, it can be uh, very cold up here. I haven't actually measured the temperature during the winter, but it can be very cold. And I have a bunch of space heaters that I'll use in the winter sometimes. But So yeah, you can see that really doesn't do a whole lot. It pretty much puts light there and nothing noticeable anywhere else. And it really doesn't do any good to have light here. So, so much for that idea. I toyed with... Um, when Menards was having those T8 shop lights on clearance for 11 bucks a piece, I toyed with getting six of them and uh, replacing these with shop lights, but that would probably end up looking less vintage. And uh, even then, I mean, that would, it would be probably triple the amount of light up here, which isn't really necessary. You know, it doesn't necessarily have to be more light up here, just, you know, if anything, it would just be to make it cooler, since, you know, I believe that in every space being a showcase, you know. So again, that's up here. Down here, it's not too much I would change lighting-wise, having the, uh, 8-foot T12s down here. It just gives you more than enough light to work on.
I had to change the bulb and the ballast there, and so now one of those bulbs is a stupid daylight bulb. I'm going to keep my eyes out for a regular cool white like the rest of them, but uh, that's pretty hard to come by. There's a light over here over the air compressor that is really not bright enough, and I might swap it out with a uh, PAR CFL to get more light down here. The only thing I really don't like about this room is that the uh, fluorescent over the workbench there, uh, not the small one, but the large one, and then there's another fluorescent light back there. You can't really see the switch for those is buried all the way in the back, uh, which is my fault for piling stuff up as much as it's where the switch is positioned, but it is a little annoying. So, And then again, as per the previous video, there's the bathroom which really, okay, I guess I didn't turn my ringer off for this video. That was somebody sending me a Facebook message. Um, when I came in here, there was just a regular 60-watt bulb again, so I added the other fixture so there'd be some light over the sink. Uh, it's very unglamorous. I could change something in here, too. Again, this is a auto shop bathroom so I really don't want to do anything too special but if I'm gonna be adding a fan which is kind of a necessity if you have to spend any time in here at all it gets very hot and stuffy very quickly um, then I might make something different with the lighting while I'm at it I don't know just the whole point is it can't cost very much because I'm not gonna get any profit out of it it's not gonna add anything to the usefulness of the shop it really isn't gonna do anything other than make me say "Ooh, I've got an even cooler space now and the space is pretty damn cool to begin with. So, there you have it. Um, thanks for your input. I really appreciate it.